we're going to be running this test with darts. So let's take a closer look at our ammo. First off, the sniper sling dart, carbon fiber body, three fletchings, nice little finger knob. The tip does thread off. Of course, you have your groove for hooking on your band. The tip is there, but it is kind of a blunt. It is not hypodermic needle sharp. Next, we have our GZK dart. We have four fletchings, steel shaft body, a nice big knob. That does make a big difference, especially shooting a heavier ammo with heavier bands. You can get a real good secure grip. On the tip, we have our band groove. Again, this one is also a removable tip. And again, we're not super sharp. You can see the edges are flat. I'm not slicing my thumb open or anything. It's not a needle point. Try to get a good close up. All right, so let's commence testing. Okay, scale is zeroed. We'll put on that. Zero it again. And we'll do the sniper sling dart first. Right on the money as advertised, six grams. Let's change it. That's ounce, troy ounce. Penny weight, carrot, grains, 93 grains. And that's six grams again. So next we have our GZK dart. 20.6 grams. It's ounces, troy ounce, which is used for precious metals and that good stuff. Penny weight, also a measurement used for gold, etc., carrots, diamonds, we know that. Grains, 318 grains. And again, 20 grams. So... We definitely know that the GZK dart is heavier than the sniper sling dart. Let's see what happens shooting both of them from the same band set. Obviously, the lighter ammo will be propelled faster than the heavier ammo. Now that's minus 8, remember, from the container just so no one's concerned that is accurate measurements so let's go out see the difference I'll give the velocities that each is producing from the same band set obviously the heavier ammo is going to be a lot slower all right, so I've got a half inch piece of plywood set up. I'm gonna shoot the light darts first. Get back to my 10 yard mark here.
Okay, so one of those bounced off, grabbing the GZK darts now. Back to my mark. Whoop, forgot these are so much heavier. One should be good. So, let's go check. Oh, even off the bounce, look at that. Some penetration. No penetration on the bounce off. So, first dart, the sniper sling dart. Actually, we can do this. There's our penetration depth, so we definitely should be through. This one, same thing. You can see the band groove in there. The GZK dart. So if we flip this around, there is the tip of the lowest sniper sling. Here is the tip of the top one. And look at the penetration with the GZK. Significantly more. Now is that a representation of product quality? Absolutely not. Here's the one that bounced off the ground. I absolutely love these darts, guys. Absolutely love them. They are a little bit harder to hold than the big knob on the GZK. But these are an absolute blast. Great product. Only problem I've had is I did lose one. I missed my target. It bounced off the ground and skipped to God knows where out in the woods. These ones... I'd hunt with these. Not that I wouldn't hunt with these smaller game. Absolutely. But these puppies, the power behind them, even though these are moving at a significantly slower speed, that's representative of weight in any ammo. That's going to be similar effects if you're shooting steel versus lead the same size that heavier ammo guys and gals is absolutely much more devastating so don't be hung up on your velocity and how fast you're going always do something to check the actual power of your band set whether it's a ballistic calculator um, chair gun app i know is a good one put in your weight what your projectile is in this case it would be a round ball so you would use that setting round ball for a muzzle loader and then you just ch change your weight to your ball and there you go you do need a chronograph put in your velocity and it'll give your your foot pounds at point blank at muzzle at your desired target and then you can put in your actual target's distance. So if you have your range set at 10 meters or 10 yards and your target is actually at 15, it will give you what your velocity is at at 15 meters or yards versus the 10. Because as we know, it will drop off and change as you get further from the target. So I hope that helped you guys learn a little something. Hope you enjoyed it. Go out, kill some cans, some boards. Have fun. Be safe. Remember, don't go shooting darts until you have the experience to be safe at doing so. There is inherently much more risk with a hand hit with one of these 
compared to a round ball. A steel ball, I've heard of guys breaking fingers and knuckles with clay ammo before. If you're having that happen, please don't go trying something like this. As fun as it looks, work on your form, your release, work on that consistency, get it up there, and be able to shoot these and enjoy it and do it safely. Everybody wants everyone to shoot and be safe. Do what it takes to be a safe shooter. Take the precautions necessary and don't go shooting ammo that you shouldn't until you have the skills that you need to do it safely. Even an advanced shooter has accidents. And that is the cat telling you to be safe. Okay, so first off, we have the sniper sling darts. I am about a meter and a half from the chronograph. It is equipped with the indoor light kit. That way we get a good, accurate reading. I will try to get a good, consistent draw on all of these darts. But like I said, with the heavier bands... It is kind of difficult to keep a good grip on the sniper sling darts. Hundred and sixty-two. And that one did not stick, obviously. A hundred and eighty. hundred and seventy nine let's shoot that first one again just because it did kind of slip I think this one for whatever reason didn't get as good of a notching on the end cap 187 all right so let's review that string The high was 187, the low 162, the average 177 if we count that. Extreme spread of 25, so let's delete that first one of 162 and go with the 3 and review it. The high of 187, the low of 179, that's an average of 182, an extreme spread of 8. So let's change the string, and we'll go with the GZK darts. Now, again, these are the GZKs, the four fletching, and you can really see what I'm talking about with that knob there. So remember, these are much heavier, so they should be traveling further, or slower. However, since I can pull them back further, there might not be that much of a difference. I'm curious to find out as well. Let's see. Oh, 111, so way slower. hundred and sixteen and a hundred and seventeen so let's review that the high 117 the low 111 it's an average of 114 an extreme spread of six all right so, we already did the outside power testing. Let's just take a closer look at this right now. I'm trying to pop you guys out of the mount here. Even at that, you can see it's exactly what we had outdoor. 
I was not doing any sort of overpowering or underpowering or anything like that. Like, we literally got the same results. Down to, look where that one's buried in the wood. The sniper sling one is buried right up to the barb. So pretty interesting results. Even though it's moving approximately 70, 75 feet slower per second, that added weight really makes up for it in penetration power. And if using regular round ammo, then obviously that's going to be more kinetic energy. And the power-wise or increase there would be blunt force trauma, but it would still be similar between the heavy ammo and the light ammo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like I said, stay safe, shoot straight, and don't attempt darts until you have the skills to do so.